Hi, this is Kelly from Petaka Kelly and Play, Learn, Talk. And in today's tutorial, I am going to help you figure out how to adjust the alignment of your draggable pieces. So sometimes when we're programming them in, we might have them out of place just a little bit. I have really exaggerated it here, but basically I want all these voting ballots to be like aligned with each other, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to use the tool, kind of play around with it, um, with you in real time. Okay, I think that's the best approach to learning the tool. Um, and I'll also mention that this is actually a freebie I've created for you to use today. You can pair it with any um, any task or drill-based activity. It is just a blank open-ended reinforcer. So basically every time your student completes a task or a drill or whatever they want, they can put the vote inside and um, it'll just give this noise. Yeah. Okay, so we have kids cheering. So um, I will leave a link below for you to go download that, okay? So I hope you enjoy it and get a lot of use out of it today. Okay, so here is our template page or the um, structure of our page, and you see how these are like all over the place, okay? Now this page is pretty busy, so I am going to go to a new page to demonstrate this for you so it can be really clear. So I'm just going to um, click on all of them and copy them, okay, Command C and I'm gonna come over to this page, Command V. Okay, so now you can see these are really out of alignment. We wanna come back to this page and look for the one that is actually in the correct spot. So it looks like um, this one is really in the correct spot. Okay, so, so that's the one that we want the alignment for all these other ones, okay? So um, these are all out of alignment and we want it to match to this one. So the alignment tool is over here on the right hand side. You'll see you have top, left, bottom, right, horizontal, vertical. Now I'll be honest, I don't understand this perfectly. I don't often use this tool. I typically just tab around with my arrow key and I do that out of habit. That's just what I've done from the beginning, okay? Um, but I would recommend that you just play around with it after this video so that it becomes crystal clear to you through experience um, what these things are doing, okay? So I think that's the best way to learn something is through doing it, right? Um, so I will point out from my personal experience, what I have found is the first item that you click on is the one that the alignment feature is going to be applied to, okay? So like that's why I specified this one is in the correct position because we want to align everything to this one, okay? Now we don't wanna click on, oh, actually I'm missing this bottom one. Let me go grab that bottom one. Um, okay, we'll put that over there. Um, okay, so it's there. So we wanna align everything in this column to this one. Now, if you think, okay, I'm gonna click on all of the, the ones in this column and then hit, you know, um, well, let's just try it out. Let's hit top. They're all gonna go to the top. So I'll, I guess I'll show that to you first if we hit different ones. Um, so if we hit left, it's gonna align all of them, okay, to this left line here, um, okay but it actually brought them all over to, to this alignment. Okay, does that make sense? So this is the first one I clicked. So even though they look so nice in that, that line, that's not where we want them to be, okay? What we want them to be aligned with is this one. So what you need to do is you need to click this one first, the ideal one first, then you can click any of the other ones in any order you want, and then align them. So now they're all aligned with this one, which is what we want, okay? Now with this row, um, we don't know which one it is. I think it's probably this one. So let's just go back and double check. That's the one that we want. Both of these are the ones that are aligned correctly. So we could click on either of those first. So let's just click on the bottom one and we're gonna click all four in this column only, right? And you can click left or right. This is what confuses me. Um, it says align all right edges with first selected item. So it actually tells you the first selected item. So if we hit right, it is going to align them. Okay, but if we click left, it also aligns them. So I think you can click on either of them. It is a little confusing, but um, I think the most important takeaway is the first item is the one that you are going for. Okay, so now the only thing we need to fix is this one. Okay, so how are we going to do that? So like, what would you do? So what we need to do is click on this one and we're going to make it so this one comes down. Okay, so we can we could even do top. It's going to come down, which is like counterintuitive right? Um, you would think probably bottom, but you can do both. Okay, so top or bottom if you're trying to move it down. Um, but if you click on this one, I'm just going to show you again, if you click on that one first, it's going to bring this one up. Okay, so that is just the takeaway, takeaway today. Hold on, I'm kind of messing around with this, so let's bring this one down. Oops. 
Okay, we're gonna bring that one down. So there we go, that looks perfect, okay? So let's go ahead and delete these and see if it makes our little ballots in the perfect spot. Okay, it should. They look pretty good with their alignment. Okay, Command C, Command V, they look great. Okay, so I hope that was helpful for you. Please leave a comment below if it was, um, and please share this to anyone else who would find it useful. Um, and if you have like better alignment tips, let me know. I would love to hear them. All right. Um, and once again, this freebie is for you. So I will um, put the put the information in a comment below. And I hope you have fun with it. All right. See you guys later.